Hey guys, today I'm going to be talking about a card that you might want to get a playset of. Falia. Falia, Falia, Falia. The card is very good. Uh, it's not like tier 1 modern playable good. It's in Hate Bears and Legacy. It's actually probably played way more in Legacy than it is in Modern. And it's not even tier 1 in Legacy either. At most it's a 1.5. I think it's mostly a tier 2 deck. Hate Bears was kind of a deck that was very good against Jund, but after Jund got banned, uh, Hate Bears also was weakened. Because Hate Bears, the value of Hate Bears is that they add, they actually have a good power to toughness ratio for the casting cost with upside. Now when you talk about Philia, you have to talk about two cards coming up. And one is the Goblin Pile Driver. And as illogical as this sounds, Goblin Pile Driver actually works extremely well with Falia. Like, extremely well with her. Uh, and the reason is Falia buys you another turn. If you are not a burn based deck, then you need an extra, then the extra turn is extremely valuable to you because it doesn't, again, doesn't affect you. It's a one sided mechanic. And if Goblin decks are not the type of deck to burn you out with Lightning Bolts, or I'm sure a Goblin deck would have the Lightning Bolts even though it had Falia's. But Falia is a 2-1 first striker who puts your opponent one turn behind. And what does one turn mean? One turn means way more damage. If your opponent is playing Splinter Twin, the difference between turn 4 and turn 5 is tremendous. Um, so many of these goblin decks are dependent on winning and they lose by a few damage points or they lose by one attack especially with board wipe so the difference between a supreme verdict on turn four and a supreme verdict on turn five is insane it really is crazy or even not a supreme a pyroclasm so putting pyroclasm from two to free actually gives you extra turn to attack with everyone and if you're on your play you can get like a rabble master and deal you know if you were able to deal enough damage um, it, it gives you an extra damage attack which is huge in goblins right huge so Falia is definitely something that you should look into um, I think she fits perfectly in a Boros type of goblin deck with um, what's the other one the 4 damage to the face. So if they kill Philia, just do 4 damage to the face to them and see what happens and keep up some burn spells when Philia does die because they will need to kill her. Uh, she is that good. Now the other card is a Pegasus of some type. A wind, Winged Mare, I believe. A Viren Mare of some type. Anyway, this card I love to death because the problem with Philia, which I talked about previously, you cannot stack multiple to her. So you cannot play Falia and then Falia. Well, if you have Falia and then a Wing Mare, you're putting that Splinter Twin dude way behind. He's got to kill them. And you don't care if they're killing Falia. You really don't. You don't care if they're killing the Wing Mare either. Because, again, they're wasting their time doing stuff and not countering your stuff. And, I mean, they're, they have to interact with you. And they're... More times you make them interact with you, the better you're going to be. Especially a deck like Amulet Bloom, which I don't consider tier 1. But there's a lot of decks, it's combo decks, Just K, Combo, whatever, that do not want to interact with you. They just want to draw cards, cantrip, and then counter stuff, and then kill you. Now, the top 1 deck, in my opinion, is still Splinter Twin. And that deck is a purely combo deck. So anytime you can put combo on a different clock and deal damage, like that 2 1 with flying is not bad. I mean, it's not a 2 1 with first strike for one less, but every time you attack with Falia and you get in for some damage, and she's very strong as a card, a 2 1 is not bad. It's not going to kill a Tomagoyf, but it should mess with a Snapcaster Mage well and a Pestamite. So Falia is very good against that deck. Um, she is very good when you put play when you put that Pegasus cards because the ability once you make 
once it costs two or more, wow, that's like crazy. Like that's very, very good for you because you're putting your opponent back so many turns. Uh, even if they Pyroclasm, they're going to pay four for Pyroclasm and that's not what they want to do. They want to play Tempo against you, at least initially, because every time they're not playing Tempo against you, you're doing that damage and they're tapping out. Um, if you can get a blue deck to tap out, for and you're a red deck wins, that's not a bad scenario. Um, that's honestly a scenario where you win most of your games. Anyway, Father is very interesting. She's at $4 right now. I'm not going to buy any more of her just because I have enough of her. But uh, overall, a very interesting card. I probably will get some more altars done of her. Um, but obviously, I've, I've have, I have enough. <laughs> Bye, guys.